So let's check out the random MIDI effect. I have a piano sound here, I have a tuner, and let's load up the random. Now the random, by, just by its name, we can understand it can randomize the notes. Uh, here we have the chance. What's the chance that the notes are going to be randomized? Uh, now if you put it on 100%, just to uh, be clear, you won't get the note that you're actually hitting because it's 100% going to randomize the note. Uh, so if I hold in C, it's going to never give me C on a 100% chance. Okay, nice. If I put it on 50%, this 5% chance is going to give me the note C, and this 5% chance is going to give me a different note. Nice, let's switch the tuner to this view. Let's zoom out, do manual. Excellent. Now, uh, choices, if you put it on one, it's only going to switch between C and C sharp. And if I put it on 100%, it will always give me C sharp. Nice, let's put it back on 50. Uh, the so choices are just one note, two notes, so including D, E flat, E, F, and so on, uh, all the way up to two octaves. Um, now the scale is uh, the distance between the notes. So right now it's one semitone or two semitones. So scale on two and choices on one, it's going to alternate or randomize between C and D, which is two semitones apart. If I give it two choices, it's C, D, and E. So the scale, for example, if you want five semitones, nice. Uh, now you can, um, right now it's only uh, adding on top, uh, randomizing on top of the note that you're hitting. You can go below the note. Let's do uh, two. So C, uh, B flat, and A flat. 100%. Uh, and by uh, bidirectional is above and below randomizing. Nice. Um, so together uh, you can have a lot of different type of randomization and of course combining with different types of uh, media effects, for example an arpeggiator before it to trigger the notes and uh, maybe a scale MIDI effect, which we'll talk about in the next class, uh, in the next video. Uh, we can have kind of a random melody generator and so on. But uh, let me show you uh, another thing you can do with the random, which is changing the mode to alternate. And the mode to alternate will basically just trigger the next note according to the choices in scale. Uh, so for example, here we have scale on 1, choices on 12, it will just trigger the next semitone, and if I hit the same note, it will always trigger the next one. And of course you can do, uh, like let's do 5, let's do kind of like 5 choices. You can go bidirectional. And there's a lot of things you can do with this. Of course, again, combining with the other MIDI effects. Let me show you one trick where you can trigger uh, a chord progression uh, just with one uh, key. Let me just set up my uh, Dreamcast arcade stick and, I'll be, and we'll check it out. Okay, so let's check it out. So here I have uh, just a recording of some chord progression I did, some layers with synths and bass and leads. And I want to play it with my arcade stick, my Dreamcast arcade stick, and I don't have many buttons. I also need some buttons for drums. So I want to put the entire progression on one button. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to open up a new MIDI track. I'm going to drop it down here. Um, so I'm going to sample it. And what I'm going to do is I'm first going to take just the first chord, and I'm going to group it into an instrument track. Um, open up the chain list, and this is my first chord. So then, I'm going to put the MIDI effect random right before it. And I'm going to put it on alternate mode, like we mentioned. 100% chance. And I have eight chords, so I'm going to put the choices on eight. I'm going to duplicate this, put it on the next chord, and so on and so forth. Let me uh, fast forward for you guys so we have all of them.
Nice. Now that we have this, I need to kind of fool the instrument track into thinking that each chain is a different pitch. So I'm going to go to the key zone. I'm going to select all the chains, shrink them down to just one, bring it all of them to C3, and then start bringing them up uh, by order. And because we now trigger them from different notes, they're also going to be uh, transposed. So if I trigger them, right, they're transposed. So I need to tell them um, to uh, transpose it. So I'm going to go to number two, controls, and one semitone down on the transposition, and do the same for each of them, uh, but one semitone more for each one. So three, four, and so on. Nice. And now if I turn on the random and I only hit uh, the note C, it should trigger all of them in order um, with this just one button. Nice. Now I do have a finished rack here, so let me load the rack so I can show you on the Dreamcast. Here I have just a uh, uh, my Max for Love device that uh, translate these messages to MIDI. And here I have my drum rack. This is what we just did just on one pad on a drum rack with the random MIDI effect and all those uh, chains sliced. Also did the same thing with the hat. So I have a kind of a whole hat sequence just with one button, but still playing to my own uh, rhythm. So I have kick, snare, So here, if I trigger that, and I have a chorus, same principle, but just to show you the example of using the random MIDI effect in alternate mode. But then, of course, we have the random mode, which is very useful for many things. Uh, check out a free cheat sheet of the random MIDI effect in the blog post. Uh, check the description for the link, free download as always. Uh, next time we'll check out the scale media effect.